Well, here we are again, and we're going to try to translate another sentence from The Hobbit. This is the third sentence of The Hobbit, and it describes the door of the hole, of the Hobbit hole. So let's see what we can do. Um, it had a perfectly round door. So if I look in the dictionary, um, part is probably what we're going for in that the hole has as a component a door. So Pogbu, uh, x1 is a part of x2, so we would want sepogbu in order to invert that so that x2 has as a component x1. So I guess we'll just say uh, ka, uh, we don't need shu, uh, sepogbu, pogbu. Okay, and now we need uh, a perfectly round door. So um, maybe just pa, lo, so one of uh, a perfectly round door. So maybe we should just put this as a tanru. Um, so door, okay, so there's a vorme, which is a doorway, uh, and there's vrogai, which is a door. I think that's probably the thing that we want, vrogai. Vrogai. And now we need to modify that by making it round. So we'll say round. Shukla. So it's a round type door. And now we need to modify that with perfect. So perfect. Uh, yeah, sure. Prane. Prane. X1 is perfect uh, in property, whatever. So, prane shukla vrogai, a perfectly round door. Okay, uh, like a porthole. So, like, I think there's a word simsa, so that means similar to. Um, so, uh, I think that what we want here is, uh, let's see, is there... So uh, in this case, maybe I should just use a, uh, an incidental relative phrase. So it's not a round door, which is like, uh, which is like a porthole, uh, but a round door, uh, which is like a porthole. <laughs> uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, I don't want to use poi because then we're pointing out that um, it's it's that particular door which is like a porthole, um, as opposed to any other door which was not like a porthole. Uh, Noi just is like an additional um, uh, an additional description. So Noi simsa, which incidentally was like now porthole. Porthole. Do we even have porthole? Well, it looks like we don't. And I thought this was supposed to give an error saying there's nothing like, there's nothing there. So a porthole is a ship's window. So maybe we should just use a tanru um, that says ship type window. So here's a window, shanko, shanko, lo shanko, and a ship. Um, hmm, bloti is a boat, ship, or vessel. So, bloti. Bloti shanko would be a tanru, meaning a ship type of window. Now, obviously, uh, windows on ships are not necessarily perfectly round, um, but sort of the maybe the canonical window on a ship, it, you know, what you think of when somebody tells you, oh yeah, it's like a window on a ship. Um, Maybe. Um, I'm not really too happy with this. Um, maybe I could say a ship type round type window. Bloti shukla shanko, a ship type round window. Um, so this sort of, you know, further basically says that um, this is the kind of window on a ship that, that's round. So. Um, let's, uh, 
go ahead and put this in the parser to make sure that Noi gets attached to Lopranes Shukla Vrogai and doesn't get attached to anything else, because I hate when that happens. Um, and yes, indeed, Noi is attached to Lopranes Shukla Vrogai. Now, this is important because the next part of the sentence is painted green, and this is referring, obviously, to the door, not the porthole. That would be kind of silly. Um, so now it had a perfectly round door, which was painted green. So if I put poi here, right, let's just say poi mlatu, just, you know, just to have something to stick in there. And I go to the parser and I say poi mlatu. What does this attach to? Well, it, it attaches to... Uh, it obviously attaches to the most recent sumpti, which is what poi is supposed to do. And what we really want to attach it to is vrogai. So what we need to do is we need to end this noi phrase. And the way to end noi or poi, the way to terminate it is with kuho. So if I simply stick in kuho, we can now see that the noi phrase is now um, um, at least it should be uh, terminated. I'm trying to I'm trying to match up these brackets. Let's see. So here is the angle bracket for this. Here is the angle bracket here. So poi applies to this entire phrase, basically vrogai, which is what I want. So I need to stick in kuho to terminate that. Now, painted green, which was painted green. Um, atanru meaning greenly painted. Well, green is shrino, so shrino. Now, paint, um, is there a word for paint? There is no word for paint. But there is a word for paint, shinta. Um, let's see. But shinta is a paint. So if I were to say shinta, I would basically be saying that this, <laughs> which was a green paint, which is not what I want, again. Um, shinta puhi, uh, P1 paints surface uh, P3 with paint P2, that's a possibility. Um, that's pretty much all we've got. So, what's Punji? Punji, no, it's just setting upon. So I think we need something to do with Shintapuhi. Um, and what would we do? Uh, greenly paints. It's not greenly paints. So I suppose what we could do is if we had se shintapuhi, then that would mean uh, that the surface, x1, um, is painted by x2. But, you know, since we're not going to have an x2, it just means is painted. So uh, shintapuhi. Se shin ta puhi. So this basically means uh, greenly painted. At least I think that's what it means. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, with a shiny yellow brass knob. So which was greenly painted and which had. Um, let's end the poi phrase and put in another poi. Um, so we can say, uh, again, we can use pagbu because it has as component poi se pagbu, which had as component, the door had as component, a shiny yellow brass knob. So again, maybe we can just make this a tanru. A shiny type, yellow type, brass type knob. Now, a brass type knob makes sense. Um, the problem with Tanru, and I probably made this mistake right here, 
um, perfectly round door. So Tanru, group to the left. So when you've got you know one brivla followed by another brivla, followed by another brivla, um, the brivla group to the left. So what what this three part Tanru means is first of all praneshukla, perfectly round, and then and then that modifies vrogai. So perfectly a perfectly round type of door. So. In this case, that makes sense. Um, if it actually grouped to the right, which again, it doesn't, then uh, you would have to interpret this tanru first as shukla vrogai, a round type of door, and then it would somehow be a perfect round type of door, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, what is, what is a perfect door? Well, well, I guess it's a door that completely fills its opening. I don't know. Um, so this, in fact, is correct. Now, when we get to shiny yellow brass knob, um, I don't think this is going to be a complete tanru because uh, if it was going to group to the left, then we would have shiny modifying yellow. In other words, it's, it's shiny yellow. And then that would modify brass so that um, it's um, a shiny yellow type of brass, and then that would modify knob. And I'm not really sure that's what we're going for. I think what we're going for is that the knob is both shiny and yellow and brass. Um, maybe yellow could modify brass in here, right? Because brass does have a yellow type color. So maybe I could, could for lack of a better term, tanru those two together. Um, but basically what we're saying is that the knob is both yellow brass and shiny. So maybe we should go with that. Uh, so what we want is uh, sepagnu, so one of. Um, so let's go with knob first. Knob. All right, that's, uh, oh, look. Here is actually a doorknob, so we can get even more specific. A vrogai batke. Which makes sense, door, knob, right? <laughs> um, but I mean, we're, we're kind of talking about a door anyway, so maybe it should be obvious. Um, on the other hand, if we just say batke, maybe you might think of something else. So let's just go with vrogai batke, right? Vrogai batke. Vrogai batke. A doorknob. Okay, now we want to modify that by saying, um, uh, where's the sentence? First of all, let's say that it's, well, is the brass shiny? Well, the knob is shiny too. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just have shiny modify knob. Why not? I'm just making a, um, an executive decision here. Okay, so here we go. Gusminra is shiny. So, Gusminra. Uh, so this is a tanru, meaning that it's a shiny type doorknob. Um, and for brivla, we can use je to indicate that it's both of these. Or should we use jai, indicating that it's a mixture of these? Well, okay, so shiny is the um, optical uh, portion of the knob, and yellow brass, well, yellow is kind of also optical, but brass is a material. Um, and what I'm going for is, like in my example, black and white cat, you can't use je because that would mean that it's both a black cat and a white cat simultaneously. But here, I don't think there's any um, conflict between being shiny at the same time as being yellow brass. So I think je is fine. Uh, if it wasn't, I think I would use jai. I think that's the right word. Or joy. I, I forget what it is. But in any case, now we need yellow and brass. So uh, yellow. Yellow is pelhu. Pelhu. And now we need brass. Um, there we go. Lastu. All right, and I believe we need a bow here in order to group these two together. 
uh, because otherwise if we didn't have this bull, then I think according to the grouping rules, uh, Pelhu, uh, Gusminra, and Pelhu would then modify Lastu. Let's plug it into the parser and see how it groups without bull. Um, well, it doesn't group at all because I screwed something up. Uh, it's not that extra space, is it? No. Um, let's get rid of this last poi. All right, so that wasn't the mistake. What was the mistake? Poi sepagnu pa logus minra. Well, let's just let's just get rid of all the modifiers. So that didn't work. What mistake did I make? Poi sepagnu. Let me just try selpagnu. No, sepagnu. Is it possible that it won't accept two poise? It won't accept two poise. I wonder why that is. Okay, uh, I think the thing is that um, you can only have one poi phrase, um, which kind of sort of makes sense from a parsing perspective. Inside poi, I think I need to use an and. In other words, which was x and y. Uh, so I'm going to use gihe um, in order to use a, uh, uh, an afterthought here. So it was both, uh, oops, let me pull up this here. Um, there we go. So which was greenly painted and containing or and contained. Uh, now again, I wanted to check the grouping of this Tanru. So now let's take a look at it. All right. Okay, so we can see that um, without the bow, right, as I thought, Gusminra, Je Pelhu, Je bound its neighbors together, and now that entire thing is modifying Lastu. So now I need to stick a bow in here, and if I stick bow in here, let's see what happens. Now we can see that bow Lastu, Pelhu modifies Lastu, and the, the Je now uh, joins together Gusminra and Pelhu Bolastu. So that's what I want here, Pelhu Bolastu. Okay, and let me just make sure that Vrogai Batke um, is now in uh, this whole thing, Gusminra Jebelhu Bolastu modifies Vrogai Batke. Excellent. So that is a shiny yellow brass knob in the exact middle. Okay. Um, could use again a relative phrase with a shiny yellow brass knob that was in the exact middle or which was in the exact middle. Poi. So let me just stick my go-to phrase, poi mlatu, right? So poi is now modifying uh, the shiny yellow brass knob. Which was um, in the exact middle. So central. What I'm trying to go for is like, here we go, miju. X1 is in the middle. So what I want to say is perfectly in the middle. Poi, which was prane, perfectly, miju, miju, in the middle. Um, of X2, so maybe I should just say prane, miju, um, va, of the door. No, because... Uh, does V refer to Vrogai Batke, or does it um, move up one level and refer to Vrogai? I am not sure. Well, I can always just say Lev Vrogai. If it's not perfectly obvious, it's in the middle of the door, not in the middle of anything else. Um, okay, 
Well, there you go. There is the sentence translated. So the whole had as part one of a perfectly round door, which was similar to a boat type um, round window. Oh, OK, yeah, I made the mistake here. Uh, this is a boat type of round. What does that even mean? Bull. A boat type of round type of window, right? A boat type round window. Um, and that, which was painted, uh, which was greenly painted and had as a part one of a shiny and yellow brass knob which was perfectly placed in the middle of the door okay um so i am definitely looking forward to your feedback on this translation um can you get it even more compact than this um Hopefully, we'll see that in the feedback. So shall I go ahead and, and try the next sentence? So here is the next sentence. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and translate this one. Let's add some bulk to this video. Now, before I continue, I did review the rules on using uh, letterals as prosumpti. Um, letterals in Lojban is lerfu. Lerfu, so this is basically a letter form. Um, and basically, it's left up to context, and uh, it usually refers to the previously named sumpti. Um, that begins with that letter. So if I did put the in here, um, you would say, oh, well, that's obviously, uh, you know, something to do with V. So it could be vrogai batke, but because it's based on context, there's no reason for me to say that the shiny yellow uh, brass knob was right in the middle of the, the knob. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, so it would have to refer to vrogai. So I think I'm okay with using the here. Um, now, one of the other ways that I could possibly shorten this up a little bit is um, I could make a lujvo. Um, so making a lujvo out of a tanru, um, according to the complete Lojban language anyway, is um, that happens when a tanru um, is used so often that it, it may as well be a single word. Um, and... Um, it, it's possible, I guess, for me to combine Shukla and Shanko. Um, so what I would do is I would use uh, the Rafsi for Shanko. So we have Shaho and Shank. So I would be forced to use Shaho because uh, Lujvo, as with all Brivla, have to end in a vowel. And then if I look at Shukla, I can either use Shuk or Shukl. So if I use shuk, shuk shaho, um, as long as that's actually valid, let me just plug it into the parser and, okay, it doesn't break. So um, shuk shaho would, would basically mean x1 is a round window. Um, so then I could replace this with shuk shaho. Now, I'm not going to do that because uh, I really don't like to form lujvo um, because I'm not a, a Lujvo maker. Um, I, I guess um, Lujvo, making a Lujvo is sort of like saying that this concept is, is so common that it deserves its own word. Um, and I don't know that a round window deserves its own word. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. Now, in terms of the second sentence, uh, the, the, no, fourth sentence, the door, okay, the door. So we know that the door is going to be the. The door opened onto a tube-shaped hall like a tunnel. So to open out onto. Now, when I looked up door, 
I also saw doorway, vorme. X1 is a doorway between X2 and X3. So maybe I can say that the door was a doorway. Uh, let's see. No, because a door is not a doorway, is it? Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Here's a word, zda shravro, is a hall door slash front door. I wonder if I should just use that. Um, no, I guess not. I mean, the English, the English was just, you know, it had a door. Um, the assumption is that it was a front door. Um, so I, I won't make that assumption. Okay, so the door opened onto. Okay, so maybe I could use this definition down here, shravro. Uh, it basically means x1 is a front door between x2 and x3 of structure x4. So I could say that v, the door, was a front door between, uh, between the tube-shaped hall. And I don't have to say what, what else it was between because, well, I guess it's pretty obvious it's a front door, so it would be between the outside. Um, so I could say that v was shravo, shravro, shravro, a front door between so now I have to say between a tube-shaped hall, so between Palo, one of a. Okay, so a tube-shaped hall, um, this would be a tube type of hall, right? So let's look at tube, tube, not rube. Tube, right, tube new, tube new hall. Uh, no, it's not a city town hall. It's not a hall door. Um, I thought there was a hallway word. Yeah, hallway. So, nerklaji. Nerklaji. Okay, so the door. Um, the door was a door uh, between, or in this case, two, a tube type of hall like a tunnel. Well, we've done like before, noi simsalo, noi binding to the most recent sumti, a tunnel. All right, what's a tunnel? Tunnel. Uh, kevluha, a tunnel. Okay, now here's this colon. Um, so we're basically now talking about the tunnel. Um, we could use ije, ije, and ka, the tunnel, uh, was very comfortable. Or the tunnel was a very comfortable tunnel. So ka kevluha, the tunnel was a tunnel or it was a tunnel, uh, a very comfortable tunnel. So there's that word comfortable again. And uh, Kufagao, I could use Kufagao again. Um, X1 makes X2 comfortable, so it, it makes comfortable. Um, a Kufagao, Kufagao Kevluha would be a making comfortable type tunnel. That's fine. Um, very, mmm, mmm, very. What can we do there? Very. Uh, actually, I think the word for very is muche, for obvious reasons. It's much in extreme, it's much in property X2. So what we want is um, muche. Okay, now here's, here we're gonna run into a problem. Um, a much type make comfortable. T 
type of tunnel. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess so. A, a much type of, of making comfortable type of tunnel. I could be wrong, but let's just go with that. So a very comfortable tunnel without smoke. All right, without. We know that there's a word for that. Without. Lacking. Um, kla. No, I did it again. Schlahu. Schlahu. Um, which was hoy. Um, maybe which was incidentally, or which which was. Yeah, I think I think I think we want to use poi instead of noi because it's specifically a tunnel without smoke. It's not a tunnel that happens to be without smoke. So so poi shlahu which was without smoke. Smoke danmo. Lo danmo without smoke. And with uh, that's great. So we used without. Hmm. Because the rest of the sentence is going to be about with. So maybe I should just go with what I used before. With. Um, what did I use before? Instead of schlachu? I can't even remember now. Um, can, oh, filled with? No, I, I don't want filled with. Filled, completely filled, because then na shul no, which just means not completely filled. Maybe it means partially filled. Right, so, so vasru, vasru no lo danmo, so which contained no smoke, and now I can use um, je. Can I use je here? No. I need. Well, it's it's going to be a breedy tail, right? So that would be gihe. Gihe. Um, with. Well, actually, it's not going to be a breedy tail. No, no, no. It's going to be. Uh, je. Let me just add je lomlatu and plug this into the parser. Uh, plug this into the parser, first of all, to make sure that I haven't screwed up. I have screwed up. Um, ka mucha kufagao kevluha. Uh, let's just get rid of je. That's not the problem. Is it poi? Poimlatu. Hmm. What went wrong here? Oh. Right, because there's no sumpti here. This is a celebri, and you can't have an incidental phrase for a celebri. Um, let's see. It was. Ooh, wow, okay. It was a tunnel, which was without. Okay, so um, the problem is the problem is that what I've got here is a celebri, and poi modifies sumpti. So what I really want is something in here, which means is, and I think there is a word for that, identical. Uh, there's mean to. Was there like do? So this is a celebri that means that x1 is identical to x2. So the tunnel was identical to, there we go. It was identical to a much making comfort tunnel, which was cat. <laughs> so, uh, so that is what I need here. Do. Do. Lo 
lo mucha kufagao kevluha poi vasru no lo danmo jelo mlatu. Let's see if that parses. It does not. Get rid of je and it does. Je lo mlatu does not. Um. Oh, right, it's supposed to be eh. Eh. Lomlatu. Um, no does group with nomlatu, which means that uh, lodanmo. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that no did not apply to this entire group here. So, so it's eh. Okay, and floors tiled and carpeted. So what we really mean is tiled and carpeted floors. So, well, first of all, what's a floor? Uh, it's a dijacenta. Uh, hmm, interesting. Lol guy is a floor covering. We might be able to use that. Lol D is just a floor. I think dijacenta is what we want um, because that is literally the floor of a building. So, lo dija, dija senta. So it had a floor, um, but basically it had a floor uh, carpeted. So lolgai does mean carpet, uh, but what we actually want to say is that the floor was carpeted. I don't think we can say a carpet type floor, um, or can we? What's a carpet type floor? Uh, honestly, I think it can only mean a floor with a carpet on it, or a carpeted floor. Lol guy. Sure, let's go with it. And now let's look at tile. Tile. A tile. Okay, it's not going to be a roof tile. Or a rep tile. No. Mmm, tapla. So... Tapla gelolgai. So this basically means a um, a tile type and carpet type of floor, which I think means a carpeted, a tiled and carpeted floor. Provided with polished chairs. So um, can we continue with e? Eh? Because vasru means um, what's the exact definition again? Just Contains, holds, sure. Contains, uh, contains polished chairs. E, lo, chair, stizu, stizu. And what is polish? Okay, spali. Mm, oh, okay. But polish would be tespali. So I think I need tespali. Um, I could even go terspali in order to uh, uh, to to make that a lujvo. I mean, I really don't see why why it can't be a lujvo, right? Because sespali, tespali, vespali, um, those those may as all may as well be be lujvo. Um, there's only one meaning to it, right? So terspali, is there ter terspali? No, I mean it's it's just tespali, which which is fine. I mean. We all know what terspali means. Um, back to spali. Okay, so um, polish x1. So a polish type chair. Ooh, yeah. I don't know if that's entirely clear what that means because I could think of a shoe shining chair, right? A chair that's specifically for for polishing. Ooh, okay. Hmm. 
Well, let's see. Chairs which were polished. Lostizu Poi Tespali. Uh, chairs which were polished. Sure. Let's do that. Lostizu Poi Terspali. Hmm. I'm not sure if I need uh, Kuho. Let's go ahead and plug this into the parser, see if I've made any mistakes. No, well, everything looks pretty good so far. Um, and with uh, or um, containing uh, chairs that were polished and lots and lots of pegs for hats and coats. Okay, what's a peg? Peg. No, not the parser. Um, peg. There's a pin slash peg, pijne. But I thought there was like a clothes hook. What's that? Clothes cook. No, that is a clothes hook. So I think we can use um, lots and lots of pegs. So lots and lots of clothes hooks. Um, so many saw he. I think there's an additional, let's see, indefinite numbers. Let's look at indefinite numbers. Uh, most, many. Can I just say many, many? I don't want to say too many. Um, much of, maybe? Many, many. Can I say saw he, saw he? Does that mean many, many? Saw he, saw he? Well, yeah, I guess it does. I mean, the parser does sort of combine sohi sohi. So, um, many many. I don't know if that's that's reasonable, but uh, I'm gonna go with it. Um, many many uh, clothes. Uh, what were the clothes hook or clothes cook? Tafa genhu. Tafa. Get tafa gen hu. Um, kuho uh, eh and containing many, many of clothes hooks uh, for hats and coats. Um, I, I could say hat and coat type of, uh, pegs, of, uh, clothes hooks. Um, hat and coat type. Yeah, sure. Why not? So what's a hat? A hat is a sedatahu. Uh, it's not specifically for top hats, but, you know, just hats, sedatahu, lo said the ta who je a hat type and uh coat costa je costa tough again who so many many of hat and coat type of clothes hooks I think that's perfectly reasonable. The Hobbit was fond of visitors. Um, I would like to use um, reason because, right? The reason for lots and lots of pegs for hats and coats was that the Hobbit was fond of visitors. Um, But now, I don't think 
that if I use something like, uh, I can never remember what it is, Kuhi? No, uh, Kuha. Mm, no, uh, so Riha. Uh, Riha is uh, physically because of. Um, and what's the other one? There is the physical, which is sort of like the mechanical cause, and then there is the human reasoning cause. And I can't remember what it was. Let's look at the justification. Motivation. Yeah, muhi. Motivation. That's what I'm looking for. So, muhi. Because of motive. Now, I'm not sure if I could just stick muhi over here, right? Because I think that if I just put Muhi over here, that is going to apply to the most recent Selbri, which is way back here, Vasru. Um, Muhi uh, Lonu Mlatu, right? <laughs> because of Katniss. Let's, uh, let's just stick this entire thing up in the parser and see where Muhi applies to. So it applies to this angle bracket here which starts right here? No. Yes? Yes. I think it starts over here. So in other words, it contains all these things because of Katniss. Um, and really, we want to apply Muhi to just this, to just uh, this section right over here. Why do we have many, many uh, clothes hooks, hat and coat type clothes hooks? So how do I apply Muhi to just this phrase when I don't have a celebrity? And I think the answer is going to be add a celebrity. So that means that um, to this celebrity, I'm going to need to break it up and do something like Gihevasru and then this, right? So that Muhi now applies to Vasru. Um, I don't really like that, but I don't know what the alternative is. Block two. Um, so now we could see that Muhi applies to this bracket right over here, and we can see that this bracket begins right here, which is exactly what we want. So um, I would definitely like your feedback on this. Um, is, this uh, is this the only way of doing it, or is there a more compact way to do it? So um, because of the... Hobbit being fond of visitors. Lonu le reader hobby shu fond or liked or in, sure. Nelshi shu nelshi lo visitor visitor. Um, vitke guests lo vitke. And that's the sentence. That's it. So let me read it out in Lojban. Iva Shravro Palotubnu Nerklaji Noi Simsa Lokevluha. Ije Ka Dulomuche Kufagao Kevluha Poivasru Nolodanmo Elotapla Jelolgai Dijasenta Elostizu Poiterspali Kuho gihe vasru sohi sohi los sedatahu jacosta tafagenhu muhi lo nula reader hobi shunelshi lo vitke. And uh, putting an English gloss on that, the door uh, was a doorway to a um, tube type hall, incidentally, like a tunnel, and a tunnel. Identical with um, a very making comfort tunnel, which was f uh, which was containing 
no smoke and contained um, tiled and carpeted floors and chairs which were polished and filled with many, many hat and coat type um, clothes hooks because of the fact that, or uh, because of um, the Hobbit being fond of visitors. I think that's it. So, so that, that was a pretty good, I think straightforward, uh, not very difficult translation. Again, there are a few issues with this, um, namely in, um, is this valid? Saying mucha kufagao to just mean, you know, very, very X sort of thing. Um, is this valid? Well, it is valid, but is this the, the best way of doing it to, to break up the sentence so that muhi applies to this and only this part of the sentence? And sahi sahi, is that really the done thing? Um, and let's see, I don't really think I have any other weirdnesses in here. I would like to make the, the first part of the sentence a little less wordy. I mean, the, the door was a door, or the, the yeah, the door was a door. Um, well, it was a door, right? Um, so maybe that's reasonable. Um, it was identical to, okay, it being the tunnel. The tunnel was identical to a very comfortable tunnel. And uh, one thing that I really should fix, though, is terspali should actually be cell spali, uh, because if we use set spali, that means that surface X1 is polished by agent X2 with polish X3. So polished should really be cell spali. Um, and in that case, it's not a polish type um, chair, but a, uh, it's not a, a chair, it's not a polished type chair, it is a polished type chair. So I think it's valid to just do that. So there we go. Um, those are the next two sentences in The Hobbit translated. Um, thank you for watching. Again, I'm really interested in your feedback. Um, even if it's just a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you if you roll that way. Um, but I'm more interested in um, in uh, Lojbanists uh, or Lojban fans um, interpretation of this and feedback on my translation. So until the next time, I shall see you. Thanks for watching.